All right. What's up, Facebook? Give y'all some time. I'm going to film a little bit while y'all are coming on. Peace, fam. As y'all see, I got this old um, cabbage, right? Look at this. Look all messed up, right? And a lot of us go through this. We, we buy vegetables and we let them sit, right? But one of the things I'm about to show you is the power of fermentation. We're going to resurrect this, this cabbage here, right? And I'm going to show you how to do it, right? All you got to do is stay tuned. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the top parts, peel off these old leaves, right? Get rid of them, right? Because cabbage is layered. And you can go on and take off the layers. And I know you're like, Brother, I tell you, you fasting. Why are you messing with the food? Because I'm preparing this for the end of my fast. Because at the end of my fast, what I want to do, some of the first food I want to take in is some fermented food to help boost up my microbiome. Alright? So, I want y'all to watch. I'm going to cut this up. And we're going to get it busy. Alright, um, somebody joined us on Facebook while I'm going through this. We're about to do the Daily Toast. But I'm just getting some footage together for my fam, uh, my YouTube fam, because we're about to explore um, the powers and the science of fermentation. All right, so we got that there, right? I'm going to get rid of that. Alright, greetings Mr. Jamal, I'm waiting for a few more people to come, because I know, you know, it is Imani, we're going to do our daily toast, right now I'm preparing some um, food for when I break my fast, I know you're like, well that's seven days away, well, how you going to do, how you going to prepare this food, I am going to ferment this cabbage. I'm going to show people how to really get busy and to get down and really start taking care of themselves and help rid their body of toxins. But that's what you're not here for. What's up, Brother Juan? I'm about to show people how to do fermenting, right? Because there's certain things that we need to understand, y'all. We are under attack on all levels, all levels, right now. A thought came to me this morning as I was lying in the bed, and it was about the ancestors. I'm constantly thinking about the ancestors. How can we improve our connection to the ancestors? How can we build and improve our lives? How can we include the ancestors in that because they want to help us, but we're not giving them the energy to help them, right? And something said, because I've been doing a lot of study on this thing called the microbiome, right? With me making this ambrosia. Um, talking about uh, 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 the, the health, right? Talking about the uh, probiotics in it. And we started doing this toast. And rather than pouring the libations on the ground, we start pouring the libations inside of ourselves, saluting our ancestors. And a thought came to me if there's a hundred trillion cells in the body and one out of 10 of those cells are human cells, and the other ones are viruses, bacteria, um, fungi, all this stuff. I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear that, right? What if the microbiome is one of the connections that we have to our ancestors? Because the microbiome it keeps us culturally connected, or it's supposed to, but we're not feeding it right. Right, we're eating culturally inappropriate foods. What if the microbiome is one of the gateways to our ancestors? We communicate with our ancestors by what we eat. We communicate with our ancestors by
by what we do. We communicate with our ancestors. And I need y'all to understand this, family, because this, 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 this got deep on me this morning. I'm sitting up here. I'm on the 14th day of my fast. And the thought came, what if your ancestors are inside of you? Not just metaphorically, like we put it. Because one of the things that we have learned in Western tradition is to separate everything, right? But we know that when we look at the four, five, six, and seven of, of Giamme, four is the uh, four things that you need to live a healthy life, major part of life care. Proper breathing, culturally appropriate breathing, let's say that, because there's a culturally appropriate way to breathe. Culturally appropriate liquids, including water, culturally appropriate, um, culturally appropriate foods, and last but not least, culturally appropriate movements. Although the mythology is out there that we're all the same, we are not all the same. According to the microbiology, micro, microbiome research, the search on the gut bacteria and the other bacteria that inhabit a majority of us, right? and runs a majority of us because a lot of us don't know that it's running us. A lot of us don't know that. Whoa, I was recording. A lot of us don't know that. That a majority of us are being run by a microbiome. All right. When you look at it, what they are starting to find out is that the microbiome is also a connection to your past, which means that you need to feed your microbiome foods that are culturally appropriate. You are not Mediterranean. You are not German. You are not, you know what I'm saying? You are not fully Native American. You know what I'm saying? You have DNA within you. You have microorganisms within you that require certain foods, that require certain things. Now, some of the things we're going to be covering this week, and y'all need to get on my YouTube channel to really to keep up, we're going to make our own toothpaste. We're going to make our own toothpaste, family. We, I'm going to show you how to do that. Very easy, very simple, right? But that ain't going to be today. No, nah, not today. I'm doing a lot of filming today because I don't know how my energy is going to be throughout the week because it's fluctuating because I'm going straight to water for the first four days. Moja through U Ujima is going to be water. Nia through Imani. I'm trying to push through with absolutely nothing. Right? But I'm going to also be showing people what they need to do some power proper fermenting. I want y'all to check that out. Right? These right here are tools to feed the microbiome. And I'm going to show you how, one, as y'all saw me before, how to resurrect old vegetables in your refrigerator, how to put a little zest to them, and how to make them be a little bit more bioavailable to you. What do I mean by that? When you ferment, and we're going to talk about this on my show, when you ferment, what happens is that the, the bacteria, the yeast, the enzymes and all that are put in an environment in which they start digesting the food. They start digesting the cabbage. I'm going to use some cabbage. They start digesting the beets. I'm going to use some beets. They start digesting some of the greens. They start digesting it. And in them digesting it, what they do, they make more available to your body some of the nutrients as well as build up the strength of the healthy bacteria and yeast that you will be eating that goes into your gut and helps you become a healthier and happier person. All right? So we gonna, I'm building, man. So we're going to be doing this um, uh, for today and tomorrow. Um, we're also probably going to visit um, sexuality, sex. And I know that, you know, that turn on turn a lot of y'all on. Sex. Right, we're gonna be talking about sex, right? And and some of the things that we have been programmed to do wrong with sex. So it's gonna be a busy day today. I gotta do a lot of filming. I gotta clean up. I gotta get my kids ready. Um, my daughter's not on the show today because uh, the mother wasn't able to do their hair and 
And to keep peace in my house, I'm not going to let my daughters come up in here looking all messed up. So, come on, family. Drink some water with me. Let's go. I'm drinking uh, Crystal Geyser Natural Alpine Spring Water. Come on, drink the water up, a lot of our shade of flow. Feed your ancestors. Your ancestors are resting on the inside of you, as well as in the spirit realm. We've been programmed to disconnect ourselves and to separate everything. Spirituality is separate from mentalism. Mentalism is separated from physicalism. Uh, I, I know that's not a word. Uh, our physical is separated from our emotionalism when they all work as one system, just like your body. And when you start learning that and you start practicing that, you start unleashing a certain power in your life that other people don't have, right? This is called maintenance of the eye shape because the eye shape uh, strengthens the whole you, not just parts of you. The eye shape strengthens the whole you, right? Because if a part of you is messed up, that means the rest of you is messed up. But when you go to the doctor, they'll break it down. They'll send you to a kidney specialist. They'll send you to a liver specialist. They'll send you to a heart specialist. When in fact, you need somebody that can step back and look at the whole system and see what's going on. Right? And we need to train those individuals. We need to find those individuals. We need to find young people and get them thinking along the lines of dealing with our people as a whole. Right? There, you know, I mean, so even when we're dealing with certain issues in our community, right, we like to separate ourselves and say, that's not us, but it's just like the body. It's, that would be like like uh, the, the kidneys looking at the lungs being sick and about to die, like, oh, that ain't affecting us. Shit is all one body. You know what I'm saying? So we got to find a way to clean up everything. Come on, drink that water. Shouts out to Juan Rollins. Shouts out to Jennifer Adams. Shouts out to Brother Nehemiah. This will be my last glass of this. Then we're going to go and get... To the ambrosia and the toast. Then I'm going to let y'all go. Then I'm going to start shooting my, my shows for next week. All right, then I got to clean up, right? So y'all saw the cabbage. Y'all saw the shape that the cabbage was in. I am going to resurrect that, and I'm going to break my fast with with my family. Um, uh, next emoji. Probably late Imani. I don't, you know, but it is what it is. Got so much on the table, can't find it. So today, I'm going to be breaking the cap of the original so y'all know what's about to happen, or at least what may happen. This is called the Champagne of Kombucha. That ambrosia is green tea, raw honey. Another, um, uh, another form of... Uh, another way in which you get probiotics into your body. And it's culturally appropriate. I like the little delay that it had. If you see it, it's, it's stirring itself up in there and everything. Right? So now, when you get when you get this, the, the original, when you get... Lemon Lime don't do this. Lemon Lime is a different beast. Right? Now... What this is telling you is that it's alive. 
So now, what's going to start happening, family? I want y'all to understand this because a lot of people be thinking I'm playing, right? Right? Y'all, Some of y'all be thinking I'm playing with y'all, right? This is big business. This is a billion dollar business right now. It's moving to multi-billion dollars. And this is how you know. Because Coca-Cola is about to come out with a kombucha. Costco is now selling kombucha. Right? You're going to start seeing kombucha in Kroger's if you haven't already noticed it. There's whole aisles with kombucha in it. Now let me tell you the difference between what they have and what Brother High Tim is producing for you. First off, I'm making craft brew. What that means is that one, I'm not cutting my shit. In order to get into stores, you have to be able to stop this from happening. Now, if, if your stuff is not doing this, in most cases, they have killed all the bacteria in the yeast. Which kills the reason for you drinking it. What you drinking is dead tea. What I'm trying to get, get the community is something live. Right? Because that's why, why I'm demonstrating how to ferment. Right? Not only just ferment this, because I already did a video showing people how to do this. When you order this online, when you, when you support the journey, I send you a method in how to make this. I even offer people um, scobies. You know what I'm saying? So that you could brew your own. Because the, my, my purpose, my goal, the goal of G&J, that ambrosia, is to end all gut-related diseases. What are the gut-related diseases? Anything, anybody got any kidney problems out there? Or you know somebody with kidney problems? Anybody with diabetes out there? Anybody with weak blood out there? Anybody with heart problems out there? Anybody with some lung problems? All that is related to the gut. And it's because we're not feeding, we're not feeding the bacteria and the yeast and the other the other elements, the other microorganisms that are existing in us, we're ignoring them. We're spraying, trying to kill all the bacteria and yeast in our house. And then spraying and killing them and going to the doctor and getting all these damn pro, um, um, antibiotics. We're killing the very thing that makes up 90% of us. 90%. And not only... Not only does it make 90% of us, family, I need y'all to listen to this, right? I just got done saying this, and I'm going to say it again. These, this microbiome that's in you connects you to your ancestors. This is why I came up with the term culturally appropriate. This is why I'm using the term culturally appropriate, right? Culturally appropriate foods, culturally appropriate ways of doing things, because we got to become culturally appropriate. And one of the major things that we're very culturally inappropriate in it's not necessarily the language. It's the food that we eat. I've been telling y'all about the African heritage diet. And the studies that they are finding, one, with the study of microbiome, what they're finding out is that different places, different people got different microbiome structures. Different groups share certain things. Right? So we're not all the same. This is why they call it the champagne, the kombucha. This is June, right? Family, I ain't playing with this. I ain't playing with this. And you know, I'm kind of hyped up this morning because I had a sister who, who watches my YouTube videos. Shouts out to Vern Love. She ain't on Facebook. But she watches my U YouTube videos. And she's, she's a major supporter. And she got the first shipment. She allowed me to send her the first shipment. She blessed me and allowed me to send her the first shipment. Which means I can ship this all over the country. This crab broke. So, man, that look good. Man, that look good. Look at that. Looks like beer. So, all right, family. So what we're going to do, 
We're going to toast our ancestors, first starting with the creator, by whatever name you choose to call that creator. Let's lift up our glasses and let's toast our creator. Let's send shots out to the creator. Let's 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 praise the creator. Let's let's salute. And we toast and we say our shape. From there we move to our personal ancestors, which for me is the most important. We toast our ancestors that connect us to our family pyramid, that they collect connect us to time. We toast our ancestors that in the, when they were alive, they were trying to move us in the right direction. At least the direction that they thought was right. They was doing what they thought was right. We toast our ancestors. We remember them. We remember the ones who tried to feed us when we was hungry. We toast them. We remember those that clothed us when we couldn't clothe ourselves. We, we, we toast them. We, we, we remember those that changed us when we didn't change ourselves. We toast them. We, we toast those that protected us when we didn't have enough sense to protect ourselves. We toast them. We toast those that sometimes... We toast those who protected us when we didn't have the sense to protect ourselves. We toast those that pushed us when we thought we was tired and thought we couldn't do no more. We toast those ancestors, man, and we remember them, and we lift them up. We call their names. If you have names, you can post them up. Like I said, post them on the timeline because I come back and I check the timeline. Um, you can post them down below if you're watching on YouTube, and I will get to them. I, I check all my comments. So, we toast them. I'm going to start with my family line. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, and William Walter, Chris and Fanny Gadsden, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, um, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown Jr., um, Alvaro Brown, um, Gina Gaines, my aunt Barbara Twiggs, uh, John Fillard, Jeremiah Tappan, Jamon Jones, Montague pittman -L, Dr. Marianne Williams, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson. I got one more elder that's 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 knocking on my mind and I see her picture and I can't exactly remember her name. Somebody in the Columbus community need to help me with with some of these with, with, with some of the elders. She was one of the first uh elders. She was uh, when we when we moved into consciousness and she was uh I remember she had she had dogs. Um, she had child. I think she had a child. Um, and she was she would come to the meetings, and um, she was very supportive. Uh, Brother Sapet Ma Ra, No More X, of course. Um, there's another elder that was in that crew. And he used to always talk about the try little commission. And he would break up a meeting. Um, uh, uh, Brother Ajani. We toast Brother Ajani. Y'all remember Brother Ajani? Those of you in Columbus? Brother Ajani. We sent out shots. Brother Ajani didn't give a damn. He would break up a meeting. I remember we was pouring libations on stage during um, Juneteenth. And he broke that shit up. I'm like, oh, man. I had to send some, I, I, I had to send some of the warriors out. I said, be gentle, bro. Be gentle. Right? Y'all, hey, man, hey, I'm telling you, man, we be having adventures, man. Not these ancestors, and they just they just keep coming. And we got to start remembering, and we got to start saluting them, man, right? Um, uh, uh, Elder Tony Clark, I mean, my my first martial arts teacher, I toast him. Um, oh, oh, mm, I've got to remember, oh. I got another ancestor that's not going see. Once you start this, you have ancestors coming because our ancestors need this energy so that they can help us, right? And you start, like, my, when I first started, my energy was low. But when I start lifting up my ancestors, my energy 
picked up, family. And we got to understand, man, there's a serious connection. There's a continuum. Past, present, future. They aren't really separate, right? All things happen right now in the present. But we still got the past and the present, the past and the future that's, that's happening. But it's one big continuum. It's a whole, right? So the ancestors want to help us in the now. But they can't help us if we don't remember them. They can't help us if we don't call on them, right? So we toast all those that we call, and we toast all those that we didn't call. We say, I say, from there we move on to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. My fault. My fault. We come to that in a second. We toast this moment. Right now is a money. We toast this present moment. We are on a money. And today is a day of faith. The modern principle is harmony. The M7 principle is trust. Um, the hermetic law for the day is gender, right? So we're looking for little ideas around those right now. You know what I'm saying? In this moment, we're looking for those things in this 24-hour period, right? Next, we toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. And I toast my children, my daughters, for not coming down here trying to break it up because I told them they couldn't be on, but y'all know how they are. You know what I'm saying? They, they, you know, usually ain't having it. But, you know, mom spoke, so they going to listen. At least they're going to try the best of their ability. But I'm quite sure they're looking for an excuse to come down here. You can hear them blowing whistles and shit upstairs trying to get attention, right? So we toast our children, our children's children on, in, on to infinity. I want to toast my son, Cleve, who just got back in town. I'm toasting the ancestors for keeping them safe. But also... He was able to represent, you know what I'm saying? He went down south and he represented for the fam, right? So, hey, we toast and, and we toast them now so that they will be able to toast us later. What legacy are you leaving, fam? All right, so we toast and we say, shave from there, we toast you. Any of your struggles, any special libations, and even with special libations, things that you want us to toast, things that you want to bring the ancestors uh, awareness or focus upon things that you want us to focus on those that do it because there is a small group of us that are doing a daily toast every day they may not be getting on here but there's people all over the country watching what we are doing family it ain't just brother hot Tim. there's a group of us that's toasting and lifting up our ancestors every day so if you put the things that you need to be focused on and we can shout them out not only will it be heard here, it'll be heard all over the country, if not the world, right? And those people will be toasting that for you, throwing out that ashe, right? Giving you energy, right? So here we go. We toast and we say ashe, 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 ashe. I wish you peace, power, joy. In 100 years and what I forgot to do bring them out 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 all right my reflexes aren't quite as sharp as they was because the brother brother's fasting and right now I'm on that I'm on that high I'm on a high right now I don't know how long it's gonna last so I'm gonna be doing some pre-recording like crazy right Today on the show, we're going to be talking about fermenting. We're going to talk about the power of fermenting. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to demonstrate how to ferment cabbage, um, cabbage, maybe some carrots and some tubers, like potatoes. I ain't never, I ain't never fermented potatoes before, but I imagine they will come out like beets. Now, because I like the beets, the beets be nice and soft but they still maintain a firmness so this is a yam a sweet yam and this is a basic potato so we're gonna work we're gonna experiment with that and i'm putting this food together for those that don't know is because it's on um next imani will be the last day of my fast and i will be coming off my fast and i'm gonna be breaking my fast with fermented foods one of the first things that I'm going to take in is a fermented food called miso, right? Which is Japanese 
throw a little bit of seaweed in there as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, your brother had to be screaming the culturally inappropriate, culturally appropriate. Yep, 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 yep. yep. But I'm like this. Now, I'm not saying that you can't take food from other cultures, but can you prepare them in culturally appropriate ways? Because there are spices that are uh, um, that are uh, unique to our continent. There's oils that are unique to our continent that we could throw a little bit of special flavor on. Please give me that um that palm oil up in there. Yeah. So here's one up. We also got the coconut oil that you can mix in with some of your foods and make a culture appropriate. Regina, I told you to stay off the didn't I? So of course those will be added. So I'm gonna finish up and I'm gonna get busy. Peace, Facebook. I took up enough of your time. Woo! Man, this is my meal. Oh, my God. All right. I'm enjoying myself. So, it's time to get to my other show. So, family, I love you. Peace out. Um... Make sure you uh, sign up on YouTube for those that want to take the Nguza Saba Challenge and get the information about the fermented foods because I got to post up something about the fermented foods that want to get uh, information about the African heritage diet, um, that want to get information about culturally appropriate breathing and movements and stuff like that where you could solidify the four things that you need to keep yourself healthy as well as Get you a break on some of this ambrosia. Hit us up at gum, G U M dot C O forward slash in Guza Saba Challenge. For those that want to keep up with me on the fast, right? I wasn't able to do a couple of days because I was struggling, right? But you can keep up with me on the fast and some of the stuff that's, that's being updated with Giami Journey. You go to gum. Dot co forward slash uh, forward slash gnj update. What's up, Paulie? No time, no see, man. You almost a senior, if not a senior, right? Um. Last but not least, now keep up with us. Keep up with us. I want to thank all those that's been supporting me on Patreon. Man, it is crazy to support. I mean, it's like I mean, it ain't a lot of people. But what's coming is just, uh, you listen, it's a blessing. I'm trying to tell y'all. See, because, and, and what's, what, but this, this is the sad part about it, family. No, I ain't going to say that. I can't say that. Because I got people right now who's calling and ringing my phone off trying to get the, um, get, get Ambrosia. So I'm getting support in town as well as out town. People that want this crafted, this crafted. Right? It's crafted, bro. So, I'm out, family. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, turn on the bell. You know, I know that I do I do the toast, the moja through Nia at 415. That's early for a lot of y'all. But keep the bell on so that you know when I'm doing it. So if you up, you can check it out. If not, you can just roll over, go back to sleep, come back and watch it later. But keep up with the journey. Check us out on Gumroad. For those that just want to see all the stuff that's offered, because I got books up, I got um, I got MP3s up, I got videos up. A majority of it's free. All of it I can't give away for free, but a, a majority of it is free, right? Some of the books you're gonna have to pay for, but other books, when you sign up for certain things, they come to you for free, right? Um, it's Gumroad dot com forward slash h a number two t i m all right i'm this brother hot tim and i'm out